Hi guys, it's Haley, and today I'm going to show you the small things out of my doll's room from my doll room tour. Anyway, let's get started. To start off, I'm going to show you what's in the little treasure chest from Dollarama. Um, anyway, so there's not much in this one, just some little things. There's an eraser. Uh, there's this little sandwich I made uh, out of modeling clay. Uh, it's better to use polymer clay because then you can bake it and it dries, but this stuff's still squishy. So anyway, then there's an American Girl milk from doll school set. Um, and there's a cookie that I also made from modeling clay. Um, and a little thing of playing cards. From the doll, from the our generation sleepover set. Anyway, that is what is in the little treasure chest. Anyway, uh, the next thing I will show you is what's in this little wicker basket I got at the dollar store um, on Emma's side of the room. So, um, what's in there is these two little tiny packs of modeling clay. Sorry, just trying to get in the camera. Uh, there's regular. And there's more of a neon one. Um, and there's also these two little things of yarn I made. They're both uh, kind of a peach color. Here's this lip balm from the dollar store, from Dollarama. And I really recommend this, but I would not recommend using it on your lips. But as you can see, it's a lip balm. And it's Pepsi Wild Cherry. Um, there's also this iPad I made, which is kind of small, but I just thought it would be a nice touch in the room. There's also her iPod, which I think is really cool because you can actually take the little thing out. Sorry, I tried to get the camera. You can actually take the little weird things out. Oops, sorry. Um, and there's also two plates. Two pieces of pizza, a Barbie hairbrush, don't ask me why it's in there because I have no idea. But anyway, then there's this little floss and I thought it was just really cute. Then there's cupcakes, little tiny cupcakes, a little uh, sample from the body shop, and some little foods and a bouncy ball. Anyway, that's what's in that. Um, and... Anyway, um, the next thing I'm going to show you is what's in the sleepover bag. Um, just move that. Sorry, I need two hands to open it. Anyway, there's all, um, some of these things I put in there. That's this little pack of uh, erasers around Christmas time from Target. I didn't uh, see it all. Um, I'll show you that after. Rudolph, a little uh, snowflake. Um, Christmas tree, and a present. And then there's this little bag of bouncy balls that I thought was really cute. That's also from Target. Um, and yeah, there's this one. They're really cute. They're perfect size for your doll. Then there's uh, sorry, trying to get it out. Curler, I think this is. Yeah, curler. Uh, and a straight iron. And some little erasers I got at a party supply store. There's this little erasers. The heart. Uh, the heart, a butterfly, and a little star. Anyway, and that's all that's in that bag. And then in the carry on bag. Uh, for the travel, our generation travel set, there is passport, which I think is really cute. Um, little passport, it's really cute. Um, and then there's also a boarding pass with a boarding card in it, and one of those eye things for sleeping 
Um, and there's just some toiletries in this little toiletry kit. And in kid school supplies, which I think is like the best bag from American Girl. Um, it's got so many things in it. It comes with like a bunch of things and I really recommend getting it. And I will do a tutorial on... Uh, well, I'll do a review on uh, Kit School Supplies another day. But anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.